follow. I heard in a way one may hear a thing which is neither thought nor spoken. Follow. And I was pulled by the great, great hand upon which it would take a year to walk across its palm. Follow. The air was a joyless ghost, and I passed over a small, sparkling droplet. Follow. Again like the whisper of a memory. Follow. And I moved with its measureless pace. There was no wind. Follow. And there was another glinting gem. Follow. Again the echo. And I understood it to be the collective voice of the mass of stars which appeared as mere grains of sand. Follow. Timeless in its presence, we followed along myriads of myriads of brilliant glass. Follow. I heard for the last time, in many years must have passed. All things earthly were absent in this place. Even the blackness was blacker. Then nothing, and more nothing, then an anti-nothing. Then we stopped upon a body long expired. All at once I understood that as long as one could weep, there was still faith, still a promise, still a dream. But after the last tears cried with all its hope and longing and love, the body may continue for some time or none at all. But its spirit has gone, and so it rests.